All right. We're rolling. Are you going to introduce this? Or are you going to say what this is? Like, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, Figure something out. <clears throat> well, hello. I am here on the island with Graham Wardle. And we thought it would be a fun idea for 14 seasons of Heartland to share 14 questions. So I'm going to do rapid fire now. Graham hasn't seen these questions yet. So My first ready? time. This will be fun. Let's do you it. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So how nervous were you on the very first day of Heartland? On the very first day? Uh, I was pretty nervous. Did we shoot the fight scene, the party scene? Oh. Do you remember what the first scene we shot was? I thought we were out at the ranch, which was a different ranch than the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe it was that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was really cold, and I remember I was riding a horse, because I was like, yes, my first day I'm riding a horse. I think, but... I can't remember, honestly. But I do. I probably was nervous. Um, <laughs> being on a television show and for my first time, for sure I was nervous. I can't remember what scene it was though. I don't even remember what the first scene was. I know, it's funny thinking back, being on a show for 14 years, it's a long time ago. Yeah. And I share that with you and I don't remember the exact scene yeah. either, but I do remember being so excited. And yeah. I think I was a bit nervous. But it was, was cold, it was winter time too. Yes. Yeah. Okay, next question. I was a little nervous, that's my answer. I was probably a little nervous. Okay. I don't remember to be honest. Here's one. If you were to to describe your first impression of me with one word, what would it be? Mousy. <laughs> yeah, mousy. Okay. okay. I don't know if I okay. had to pick one word. Because you were quiet, but you weren't like not interested in stuff. You were like a little mouse, like just in investigating okay, everything. In. Okay, I can see that. Not in a bad way, no, in a no. good way. Okay. In a good way. <laughs> I like it, I okay. like it. Um, wait, wait, let's flip this. What, what would be your first word, uh, one word, your first impression of me? Ah. Uh, I wouldn't have jumped to an animal, but uh, my first word would have been curiosity, which is very, oh, okay. very similar to okay. what you described. So I think cool. because we were both young and this was like one of our first big projects, of course we were going to be curious. Yeah. And I think, yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay. So mousy. <laughs> um, your favorite location to film Heartland at? Oh, oh, probably out in Kananaskis. I loved when we'd go out to Kananaskis and shoot out in the, remember the Eagle episode? Rescuing that the was Eagle. So much fun. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, Kananaskis is beautiful. And uh, I also, well, you said one really place, but I also really like shooting downtown Calgary when the scene from season uh -huh. two and Ty, Jack saves oh, yeah, Ty. And you're running through the back. I, yeah, I really like the, the change of pace, change yeah. of scenery. And Mongolia, he's shooting in Drum Heller. That was really fun too. Yeah. So those are my three. Okay. Those are my three favorites. Okay, I'll take three. Um, I think I already know the answer to this question, judging by the backdrop. Ocean or mountains? Oh, uh, yeah, I would pick ocean. Yeah, because I, okay. yeah, I, kinda, I like the I, ocean. I kind of assume. <laughs> um, would you rather ride a horse or a skateboard? Oh, you know, honestly, I'd probably want to ride a horse. Yeah. Uh, the other day I was on a skateboard and I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. And then I decided I was going to sit on the skateboard and just go really fast down the hill. And I wiped out and I hurt my ankle. And I haven't so, ridden that skateboard since. Horse is probably a safe Probably a horse. Choice. Yeah, I know how to ride a horse better than I know how to ride a skateboard, so probably a horse. Okay. Uh, your favorite Amy and Ty moment over the seasons? Water fights. Yeah. Water fights oh, were always totally fun to shoot agree. with you. Yeah. Um, and there's been a few of them. Cake fights. We did a cake yeah. fight in that one birthday thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, any action stuff, honestly, when we don't have to like say a bunch of lines mm -hmm. and we just get just to like, have fun. just like, okay, this like is happening. Like montage stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, I love that. That's my kind of acting. I don't have to memorize a lot of stuff. Yeah. No, and just <laughs> it's just so fun. fun. And all, by the way, my voice, I was yelling the other day. That's why my voice is really hoarse because I was yelling. So I'm not sick, okay? <laughs> okay, we were worried. I'm not six feet apart. Um, okay, so um, do you have a secret talent that... Oh. Nobody really knows about. I don't think so. Uh, oh, I can do this. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, about, as, that's about as secret as a talent. I do that for kids and they love it. So uh, I'm sure you guys love that too. It's, it's my talent. Thanks for I that. used to be able to do this crazy laugh when I was a kid too, but I can't do that anymore. Is that the laugh where you're like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that too, but I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. It's only a kid thing. Yeah. I remember I used to do that and my little brother would just think it's hilarious. It was, it was the best. Yeah, it's what you do as an older but sibling. I, yeah, I lost that talent, so. <laughs> Me too. Um, if you were to describe yourself as an animal, what animal would you be? Uh, like, would I want to be? No, just no. like you 
as My personality? Graham, yeah, what, what do you think you most identify with as Now I'm an eagle. Oh. I'm an eagle. I like that. There's eagles all around here, and I look at those eagles, and I get so inspired. I love the, I just love eagles, so I would say I'm an eagle. Okay, so are yeah. you like a bald eagle, a um, Now you're asking too many eagle. questions because I have are no you... idea. <laughs> whatever the eagles that fly okay. around here, okay. whatever we'll they're like. <laughs> um, the best piece of advice that someone's given you on set. Put your hands in your pockets. Chris Potter. <laughs> we just talked about this. And you, your hands I are know, in your hands pockets. are in my pockets. Uh, no, best advice probably, well, Chris Potter, thank you. That was <laughs> great, that was great advice because I do this and then my hand gets in front of my face. And it's distracting. But I'm part Italian and Italians like to express themselves uh, with their limbs, I guess. Mm -hmm. I do at least. Uh, best advice on set. Um, I think it's not to try and reproduce the same, like don't try and do the same performance. Like mm -hmm. be authentic in mm -hmm. each performance and it most likely will have the similar marks and similar things. But mm -hmm. uh, earlier in my career, I would try and reproduce. You know, if I thought that take was really good, I'll try and redo that. Right. And I got some advice, some direction once that was like, you don't need to redo that. Just be authentic in the moment. And that is much more uh, engaging. Mm -hmm. And you know, you don't get that sense of like someone's acting because they're being present. Yeah, no, that is really good advice. Um, would you rather live in a cabin or a condo? You could pick anywhere. No, but like it could be like a condo in Dubai or like... Oh, okay, okay. Like it could, you know uh, what I mean, like setting wise. Uh, yeah, no, I'm done with the cities. So I'd be okay. cabin. Yeah. Right. Cities are fun, but to visit. If I was going to live, I would live in a cabin somewhere in the woods. Preferably uh, on the on ocean. On the ocean <laughs> with mountains and the woods. Maybe mountains on the woods, yeah. Okay. That'd be cool. Uh, your favorite <clears throat> set food? Is there like something you usually set snack food. on or like you would go to craft dried, service dried and mangoes. always... Dried, dried mangoes. mangoes. Okay. Dried mangoes. Yeah. Dried mangoes. When See, they're there, I love I dried mangoes. I would go through a phase where I loved them and I'd always get them and then I got so sick of them because I ate them too much. Well, some of them are too sweet. Sometimes they have the sugar on them. Yeah. I like the ones that are just straight dried mangoes and the ones that are chewy because sometimes they get really dried mm -hmm. out. I like the chewy and ones. And I'm the same now with dried coconut. I love the oh, interesting. dried coconut, but they have to be kind of chewy. They can't be like Yeah, yeah, crunchy. dried and... Yeah. Um, Good questions, by the way. Did you come up with these? Yeah. Cool. I like them. <laughs> I like them. If you were to describe what's next for you in three words, what would those three words be? <laughs> uh, uh, what's next for me? It's funny because I'm trying to think of my three words for what, and I... Yeah. Uh, uh, love courage and adventure okay yeah so those were just three like words not connected but i i agree with that oh you mean like, like a sentence well but it's really hard to make a sentence in three, in three words, words. So, what would you say well i was gonna say like um uh <clears throat> not on the journey but like oh uh, something like that you know what i mean like a phrase but it's really oh, hard oh. to say a phrase in three words so yeah like especially what you okay thank you <laughs> Uh, best book of 2020 or oh. that recently? Best recent book. Ooh. Um, well, you know, this is a timely one. I'm going to say The, the uh, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. Um, he, he, that, the whole purpose of that book that I got from it, what I really thought was very valuable, and I've talked about this on my podcast, is that we get to choose the meaning that things have in our lives. So... Um, with world events, things going on in the world right now, I think it's so important to remember that we get to choose what things mean and to find the silver lining and to make the most of it. So I would, that's what I would choose. Nice. Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. Okay. I will say that. I'll look it up. You never read that book? No. Oh, it's a good book. I don't book. books. Right. Amber doesn't like to read books. It's not that I don't, well, I guess, yeah, I don't like to read books. You shy away from reading it. books. I just, I don't enjoy the motion of sitting and absorbing I, and that's why we talked about I'd like to maybe get books on tape and yeah, yeah, like yeah. so that I can be active. Well, you can get Viktor Frankl's Man Search okay. Meeting on tape. Okay, maybe there you that go. will be my next. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what did you learn the most about yourself uh, over the 14 years you've been on Heartland? What did I learn the most about myself? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Um, that's like a deep question. <laughs> it is a deep, I'm sorry to end with that one. <laughs> okay, well, it's a good one to end with. Um, how to love myself. Mm. I think that would be how to love, how to love myself, how to, how to, um, uh, just, you know, I think self-love is something that people are kind of like, 
oh yeah, self-love, like I like myself, whatever. I'm not talking about liking yourself. I'm not talking about being like, oh, I look so good or whatever. I'm talking about genuine feeling love and accepting of yourself. A true appreciation. A true appreciation. Of who you are. Yeah, and, and because from that place you can really accept and appreciate other people and acknowledge other people and give mm -hmm. from that place. But if you're if you're coming from a place where you're a void and you need people's approval, mm -hmm. actors, performers, you're always looking, well did was that a take a good take? Like did it work? Yep. You know, so uh, to come from a place of, you know, you're still dialoguing with your other coworkers about whether it worked, but it's more about you're not looking for their approval. You're not looking for someone else's acceptance because mm -hmm. you've got it within yourself. From that place, you can give so much more. And I know from the beginning of the show, I was definitely looking for approval. I was mm -hmm. definitely looking for acceptance and being like, is this good enough? Like, I want to do my best work. Like, um, and you still want to do your best work. And I still want to do my best work, for sure. But it's, it's not... Uh, it's not a point where you need that validation. Validation, yes. Yeah, and then what I create comes from a place of full as opposed to a place of lack. So yeah. that to me is very profound and, and has been very impactful for my life. There's so many things I've learned. No, I, but I know. <laughs> and I it's just one thing I would just, say. Just speaking on that, I think that's something that comes, that's a growth that happens with time. You know, you have to, it's not something that everyone learns right away. I think yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. there's a series of events that happen that, yep. that give you that. And for some people that takes their whole life takes their whole and life because there's false belief systems that are implanted by your maybe your upbringing by events that have happened in your life or maybe by society that tell you you're not good enough or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be there's a lot of different programming that you know beats people down and they live underneath and uh, you have to kind of go like no that's not true that's not who I am that's not what I'm about um, and getting back to your core because uh, I think in order to really respect others you need to respect yourself. amen how can you respect others if you can't respect yourself yeah you, you, yeah, it doesn't work. You can't. So that would be, uh, I mean, I've learned so much. Uh -huh. I've learned so much. But I mean, that to me is the most profound thing because from that place, you're coming f from a full place, mm -hmm. you know, as a, and respecting yourself. You can truly respect and see another person if you're first starting with yourself. I think so. That would be my answer. Great questions, a, Amber. A beautiful <laughs> end to this segment. Well, I hope you all are enjoying season 14 of Heartland. There's 14 questions for 14 seasons. Thanks for joining me, Graham. Yep, thanks for having me, Amber. <laughs>